Days when the sky was reserved for birds and Apollo was known only to the student of mythology, Arthur Burns Chalk opened a flying service in Miami. Fifty years have passed since the days of the one-man operation with an umbrella, a desk, and one amphibious airplane. Now six planes of the Chalk Flying Service fly the same routes that once took equipment to rum runners and made many surveillance lights for revenuers. Pappy Chalk is 82 years old, but you can still detect the spark in him that made a flight to Bimini something to remember. Pappy learned to fly in Paducah, Kentucky. Since that time, he has chalked up more than 16,800 flying hours, or 700 days. Miami City officials once tried to run him out of town. Today, they presented Pappy with a citation hailing him as a pioneer in aviation. It was a day to renew old acquaintances and talk about the good old days. Well, I'm just working between getting information both sides, you know. <laughs> At one time, the city of Miami uh, thought the best thing to do would be to run you out of town. They kind of changed their mind after that. What caused that? Well, all these uh, boat captains uh, come in and uh, rescued me, you know. Went to bat for me, and uh, after the city knew what was going on entirely, why well, they approved of it, you know, and didn't bother me much anymore. If you look back over the years of your, your flying, what would be the one thing that you'd remember the most out of all the years? My first uh, flight in uh, 1911, when old Benmore, B-N-O-I-S-C, Benmore, they call it, with Tony Jennings in Paducah, Kentucky. That gave me the fever. <laughs> Can't get rid of it. Pappy Chalk made his last flight about a year ago, but Chalk planes have never stopped flying and more than likely they never will. Arthur Burns Chalk, truly one of those magnificent men and his flying machine. This is Jim Loy reporting.